all right guys welcome to catapult carnage my name's chris i'm paul today we're going to go down here to the woods and test out paul's new pan of dart shooter so stick with us let's see what happens Right guys, check this out for a setup. It's a bit slow for loading, but that really is a lethal setup. And I just think it looks really cool, really primitive. It's fletched there with pheasant feathers. It just really is awesome. Could be accurate. Oh yeah, certainly, certainly oh, could be accurate. We just was that was half an inch under. <laughs> Split that bit of wood, just about an inch thick. Now that's definitely going through bone. Check that out. Pull that out, Paul. That is in there. Paul forged the tip. Can't focus. That's it. So I've got one of your darts. Just made out of wire nail and your fletching is It's a piece of braided rope. Just with the braids. Just broke broke down. Broke down. Um, we did put in a, a notch in here to help seat it so that it doesn't pull off. Yeah, you cut the head of the nails off, didn't you? Yeah, just cut them off flush. I think some people use the head for lashing, but it, yeah, would, yeah. it would create a, a, a bigger lip here. Yeah. You know, you could argue they're better to release. I just cut a small groove the whole way around the end of the nail that I was latching to, so it had something, almost like a band groove yeah. on, on a natty. So. Go. And we're going for a wooden disc. Better off with that one. We still probably have too much on yeah. the tail of these. Um, this is very much still a, an experimental process. Yeah, we'll probably start now cutting these down in length to find out what's the optimum amount to have to keep the arrow straight but to reduce drag. Active band as well would be a big thing, you know, because yeah, it's just... These, aren't, these are a normal set of bands modified, so it's way too long, especially given mm -hmm. that you're holding four to five inches behind the pouch. Yeah. Good shot. <laughs> I it, but we didn't stick. I heard it, but we didn't stick. We'll just put a couple into the tree. Just to let you, let you see how... And there, I am much more frightened shooting this than I am shooting the the actual mini arrow launcher. That was a solid one. 
I feel. You see, I'm sort of butterfly. I'm bringing, trying to bring the Neo um, to, to the corner of your mouth. To my usual anchor point, yeah. Um, if I can get it to there, then. They're sticking well, like. Yep. Yeah. And this is really underpowered because yeah. they're, they're, they're way too long and they're also not heavy enough for the weight of the projectile. But this, <laughs> this could be made into something very, very serious. You know, it's in past the barb, but it's, it's taking wood I'm not back sure. out with it. This, it wasn't this one. Take that one there, Chris. I think it was this one. <laughs> yeah, that was the one that I said. That was the last one. No, uh, it was the one before the last. Oh dear God. <sighs> that was well in. I wouldn't want shot with one. Would you, Chris? No. No, certainly no, not. Certainly not. And this is experimental stage yet, so give us a while. We'll fine tune this. I think it's illegal to hunt with these. I think it would fall under hunting with an arrow. Yeah, but for, for fun shooting targets. Yeah, they're absolutely brilliant. It's great fun. All you need is a piece of wood. We had just a, a board or actually a stump, but a sheet of wood. All you need is nails, and what, what would be good for your fletchings would be paracord, the inner guts of the paracord, you know the way it's like a, yeah. a fine... Well that's, that rope was almost like a, a heavy duty version of that. Yeah. You know, it was... Show us your pouch. <laughs> My modified... Works a treat. All you need to do is cut a pouch in half and tie a bit of masonry line. <laughs> but yeah, fantastic fun. Capability of taking bigger game? Possibly. If it was legal. If it was legal. If it was legal. I'm sure maybe there is somebody watching that can do it. Will be can do it. Somebody um, in Texas or somewhere where they can hunt with sledgehammers if they like. But certainly, if anybody, if this is legal where you are, let us know and yeah. show us some videos. Yeah, that would be awesome. We want to see it. We're stuck to targets, but it's great fun. But if you guys can actually put it into functional use, um, we really like to see raccoons that. or possums or something. Yeah, be yeah. awesome. Something just uh, even vermin, small game. Yeah, anything you have. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. Wait, we're going for that tree there. All right, Paul. Probably what ten meters, Chris. I would say it's a wee bit. I'd say it's closer to fifteen. I was being on the side of caution there. You were being on the side of caution, but I think it's a wee bit more. Awesome. That is awesome. That's a solid tree. That's past the barb again. I'm past the barb. I'm going to mark this with my thumb. It's taking a bit of getting out. Of an inch there. That has actually gained. Yeah, it's, st it's still accelerating. It's still accelerating. And I'll just bring this over. That is where my thumb was when I took that out like compared to the last one, which was down about here. That's a lot of penetration. Yeah. Let's try the big arrow shooter again. What would you call it? Is that past uh, a dart? Is that now an arrow? I don't know. I was calling them a bolt still. I a bolt. Just because it was so short and I think that's what it'll be, it'll be a bolt. That is a fine bit of making there, craftsmanship there. Three quarters of a tang that that arrow. Lashed in an epoxy. We've pulled that out a lot and that arrowhead is still solid as a rock. Yeah. You know, you'll buy a, sh a, a an arrow out of a shop and you'll not abuse it the way we have abused this. I can't hold it at the very back, I need to just... Left in there, man. Now you take... Oh, that's... That has also... Gained penetration. You know, we're into there. And solid wood. What would skin and bone, would it offer more or less resistance than that? Make your own minds up. 
Yeah. But I'll tell you what, that's cool. I put a video up on my Facebook page earlier and guys are like, oh, you're not wise and uh, if you hit your hand, that's game over. You know what, I have shot thousands and thousands of projectiles and I have hit my hand once and I was trying to do something silly. And moving, moving targets. Moving targets, moving catapult. That's whenever you're going to make them mistakes. I'm very confident shooting that. That I can get it past my hand. And that is a fucking cool idea, Pauls, because I've never seen it done that way before. You know, the, the release is very clean. And it's nice and rustic looking. You know, it's cool. So get get out and give it a go. It's easy to make, that's about a dial. Paul, Paul will upload a video on how to make a setup like this. Yeah. Um, make your arrow and go to his channel and check it out. You know, it's, it is a lot of fun. If you have the balls to shoot this past your hand, go and do it. It's so much fun. And if you're in a country that will allow you to hunt with this, that's all the more reason to do it. Anything to add, Paul? Um, no, we will be doing a, a how-to on this. Um, the things, the things you, like Chris said, um, the flexions are fellers, um, rough, uh, whipped on there with some uh, elastic thread. A dial, wooden dial, buy it in your hardware shop, you can buy this stuff, a couple of metres of it for literally a few pounds. It is cheap as chips. That looks like 15 mil dial, is it? It's... Maybe 20? No, it's not, not just that big. Half inch? It could be half inch dial, yeah, mm. so it's somewhere between 12 and 13 millimetres. Hardwood dial? That'll give you a tougher arrow, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the tip here, the tip's forged um, from a piece of high carbon steel. There's a broken drill bit. Um, so this is a new thing to me, the forging. But so far we're having a lot of fun with it. So we plan to do a couple of videos. And this is going to be one of them. So yep. if you're liking this, uh, pop over and check it out. It should be up in the next couple of days. And uh, I look forward to seeing what everybody thinks. And a basic forge setup as well, you know. Very it's like, basic. You, very, very, very basic. If you want to get forging, it's a, it's a really easy way to, to get at it. Yeah. Yeah, and simple things. I've I've made a few a few bits and pieces, um, and it's great fun. It's mm. great fun, and whenever you take the time and make something functional, but looks cool. Yeah, you know I love showing it off to people. Yeah, it is cool. Like just this. because it's something a bit different. So, no, definitely if you've got your own ideas out there, things give it a go. Try it. Yeah, it's great fun. Go drive one into the tree. Awesome. Right guys, hope you enjoyed it. That's it for this episode. Weller's been harsh here, haven't been very active on the channel, busy with work, family, life, etc. etc. But thanks yeah. for watching, glad you liked it. As I said, go and check out Paul's videos, which will be up on how to get started on this type of thing. I've thought about doing it before, but I've never put it into practice. And I went up to Paul's today, I had an idea of going out and doing a trick shop video. Then we got to play them with these and we're, I was like, right, we have to show these off today because that is awesome. So that's it anyway, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.